Hello and welcome to A Matter of Fact, a weekly podcast that can't decide if it's a talk show, a quiz or a frenzied attempt at a midlife crisis. With me this week I have Laura, Dave and Chris, all of the Stevens clan. To avoid any confusion, of which there will be plenty, Chris is on this side. Hello. Dave is on this side. Hi there. And Laura is here in the middle. Hi. The game is simple. Each week there is a different topic consisting of five rounds, each with its own theme. We've all spent the week researching and have brought our favourite facts to tell the others. The theme this week is felines, pertaining to the feline or Felidae genus of cat-like mammals. Meow. So round one is another new one, Utter Bastards. And first up, we have Chris. Okay, so my fact is about what, whenever I think of the uh, most angry-looking or grumpy-looking cat. Well, you have to think of Grumpy Cat. It was a meme that went around, started in 2014. The uh, the cat's name is actually Tardar Sauce. Not Tartar. Tardar Sauce. Make what you will of that. Uh, and has so far, apparently, earned its owner £64 million pounds in the span of about two years. Now, the Huffington Post claims that this is inaccurate, but they will not confirm whether or not the estimation is in the high or the low bounds. So, the, uh, the most high-paid cat is Grumpy Cat, for having a utter bastard-like face. Fair enough. Do we know where you earn the money from? The money's from uh, merchandising and royalties. She first registered uh, the meme images, the two most common ones that were circulated, uh, at the end of 2012. Um, and by midway through 2013, she noticed that Hot Topic and other clothing outlets were using the image. So she not only won money from going after them, but also then launched her own line of merchandise, which has superseded the profits that she was making just from online sharing and advertising using the Grumpy Cat image. You can actually nice. go on the website, I think it's grumpycat.com, and order over a hundred different types of jumpers and t-shirts and all sorts of different Grumpy Cat-esque clothing and materials. So yeah, increase that money even more. Well that's Kirby's Christmas present sorted then. Yeah, I am the Grumpy Cat. <laughs> cool. Yeah. No, it's just Surprising what people spend money on. Moving on, Dave, you're up next. What's your fact about Otter Bastards? The largest litter of cats ever. There was a litter of 19 cats, of which only 15 survived, but still, that's pretty... That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. The unfortunate... Oh, sorry, I think you said 15 we died. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, we don't have a lot of information on the owner, but it was in the UK, in Kingham, Oxfordshire, and the cat's name was Lena. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was in Cattingham or something like that. Unfortunately, no. Oh, fair enough. That's that's pretty cool. Did we know anything about the breed of cat? Uh, there is very little information. People have speculated. Please that. tell me she kept them all. I mean, that would be fantastic, having 15, 16, if you include the, the original. Cat. No, this was not expected to be a litter of this magnitude. And so most of the cats were given away or sold to, or sorry, given away to animal shelters or to friends and family. I was going to say... Do we know if they were all the same father? Or? Uh, that is not listed. Uh, this is on the Guinness Book of World Records. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of information, and from what I was researching into, there's not a lot of personal information on the owner. This was back in the 90s. Sorry, so, okay. So a dark age of technology then. In, indeed. <laughs> the, the internet level of research and getting down to a library for largest list of cats was not happening, so... Uh, that's the amount of information that I have. Sorry, I have to. I have to come back on this. I'm I'm learning something new. Did you just cats having multiple fathers in the same yeah, litter? Yeah. yeah, you can have um, cats. Cats can have multiple eggs in the womb at one time. Yeah, so they can they can give birth to children from different or kittens from different fathers. This they can give birth to children as well, but I'm that's sure something totally different. This out, but this is like ah, oh, okay. This can happen um, with humans. Yeah. Mm, that's true. Yes, it, it does. It's very rare, though. It's, it's a lot more common with cats. Yes, okay, okay. Oh, mm. Wow. They also have bones in their penises, as most mammals do, actually. That's you. why you can break, um, have a uh, penile break or penile fracture. Mm. I don't want to learn anymore now. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I've got, some, I've got some good ones I'm saving for later. This is, this is just the beginning, man. That's what he tells everyone. Don't smell the handkerchief, Chris. Don't. <laughs> Oh, everything got rapey. <laughs> Does uh, it smell like chloroform to you? Yes, that's the one I was thinking of. Cool. Okay, pretty good stuff. And uh, next up we have Laura. 
Okay, well, my variation on the utter bastard's front is that uh, male lions are ruthless when they join a pride that is unprotected by other males. They immediately kill all the cubs that are too slow or small to elude them. The tactic ensures that the male's new partner is ready and back in season around eight months sooner than if she carried on nurturing her cubs. This allows the male to begin producing his own cubs as soon as possible. So basically, it's a case of sort of like Hamlet getting there, swipe, mm. gone, I'm here. Suddenly Lion King is making a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought when I read your facts. Was like, yeah, Lion yeah. King. Scar, Scar was just doing what he had to do. Well, Lion King is the Disney version on Hamlet. That is mm. how it's potentially marketed, I guess, etc. Which is why yeah. you can get away with it in the lower years of uh, like English literature. As yeah. The ghost is less funny though, it must be said. I always, I always find the ghost quite humorous. Alright, so that was a pretty quick round one then. So, for round up, are we going to go with Chris's Angry Cat, Dave's Birthday Bastards, or are we going to go with Laura's Real Life Lion King? Hmm. Don't all go at once, jeez. <laughs> David, what are you thinking? Uh, I'd have to go with Chris's fact, just because for me that was the one that I didn't know about before. Um, obviously I knew about my fact and I know quite a lot about Disney so Chris is the most interesting one for me I believe at this point she has purportedly and also the owner of Grumpy Cat has all, and you said something in the region of 60 I believe it's now like 90 million dollars mm-hmm. from taking a picture of her cat and having someone else on the internet put words on it yeah yeah it was in pounds it was a hundred 100 million dollars and 64 million pounds when it was first advertised so by now I'm imagining 90 million pounds not are you trying to get me to comment on the currency changes that have recently happened I don't know I wouldn't <laughs> suggest such a thing cool <laughs> oh Dave who are we going with my name's Chris oh damn it <laughs> <laughs> see I oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> put these in these are good uh, Chris what are you <laughs> Dave who are we going with <laughs> Chris, Chris, who are you voting for? Well, I would have to go with... Yeah, it sounds weird because he's just voted for my fact, but Dave's fact, purely because it was it led to me learning many, many uh, more things and questionably things I didn't want to learn, but yeah, more mm-hmm. things about animals and beings just in general. Just because they're related. I don't know um, if I learned that I had a bone in my penis from this. I don't think... No, I don't think mammals... Uh, I don't think um, humans do, but I'm not 100% on that. Oh, that's why he has a vote. Ah. I love the fact that you just said that the reason that they're voting for each other is because they're related. Yes, I was going to come back to that. That was 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 going to come back to that. Purely a joke. Purely, yeah. Uh, Laura, swiftly. Yeah, yeah. Unrelated sister. What do you think? (laughs) Unrelated brother. I'm going to vote for you. Because sometimes I guess I can be grumpy cat. Sorry, which one are you again? I have already made the mark. Just to make... (laughs) Cool. Um... No, I just like the fact that, yeah, Grumpy Cat, that is a proper bastard of a cat. This is the kind of the Doctor Evil looking, that one, yeah. The one that is actually suffering from a form of dwarfism in the face, which is why it's... It's an overbite, it's a dwarfism, something like that. But the mother and father look fine, which is most often the case. Mm. That's how Kirby was born. Mm Mm-hmm. Thank you. Left the door open for someone. That was rubbish. Cool. And with that, I'm going to vote for Dave's fact. <laughs> Fuck you both. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I am also going with Grumpy Cats. Excellent. Chris wins round one. Ooh, or is it David? We're not sure right now. <laughs> oh, well, I am. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm Dave. Well, I'm Chris. That's how I know the difference. I wake up knowing I'm Chris. If we were triplets, I'd be fucked. Although, now yeah, I'm understanding this is a competition, I don't predict you winning any more rounds. <laughs> round one. Fight. <laughs>